Baby, I got 15 minutes to get out this house. No, because baby, look, why Miss Natalie be eating? Because, yay! I run my city from the west side, big to best, I do a day to shite. Queen Louisiana, Dr. Dre, the Los Angeles, this is it, bitch, Michael Misfit. Huh, day, a legend and moonwalk, sliding across the stage in 87. This that Tupac out the window, both hands throwing up that middle finger. Fuck them other niggas, ratchet bitches in my demons, yeah, I'm queening. Yeah, we got a sponsor! Since I was so pleased with Fancy Vivi, child, we decided to run that thing back. So basically, they was like, girl, you need a new cut, a new color. But I didn't want a new cut. I wanted some more braids, child. But look at this packaging. Turned me on! Look at the, the fact that you got a luggage carrier to carry a wig, okay? You already know this a wig, child. Now, here goes some template papers. But there it go. They said I needed a new color. And I was up for the challenge, baby. Look at that wig. Now, Fancy Vivi ain't disappointed thus far. And uh, spoiler alert, they ain't started yet. Okay, so y'all see all the gifts that they sent me, right? Right. Okay, so we got a bonnet, huh? We got a milk belt, huh? We got the wig cap. Now, I know I already showed y'all and I'm talking late, but that's okay because I want you to look at this again, baby, okay? Because I thought that that was a hoochie uh, uh, male belt, but it's a fancy VV on it, child. I had to spin the camera around so you can understand. Because, baby, y'all remember last time. Last time, I didn't even get to show y'all the bag because they was merging and everything. But now that the merger's done, baby, look how they coming. Look how they coming. Now, here go the wig, child. I had to run it back. And child, you know when you can see my next striations, I am excited. Purely, okay? Y'all already know one thing, thumbnail. One thing I love about Fancy Vivi's wig is that lace. Just pure lace through and through, child, and it does something to me. Look how you can see through the lace from me holding it up. Up, oh, you ain't got no nail on that hand. Go to the other hand, baby. Go ahead, it's okay. And we're ready. Now, let me show you the construction per the usual. All the details of this wig will be down below. I believe this wig is still 36 inches as the black one that we tried, okay? This is the color burgundy, baby. And you already know the price is right. And it's better than sitting in a chair for hours on end. Okay, they do have the strap for my little head girls of the world, and you are able to tighten such strap. Baby, I tightened mine so tight that I almost didn't have to put nothing on it to tack it down. But when I tell you it's 116 degrees in Las Vegas, Nevada, I had to use two different types of things to make sure my braided wig stayed on at least three to five days a month. Okay, so I was trying to think, do I want to wear a ball cap or do I not? And then I said, well, let me try her on first. And see what the color is given, okay? Yes, child, we do got a story time before you even ask. So let me get through this part, okay? Now, what gave me pause a little bit and I had to come up close, is these baby hands black? Now, I had to think about that. But then I got closer to that lace and I said, oh, it's okay. <laughs> it's giving Caucasian scalp. <laughs> All I got to do is spray that thing down, okay? So now I'm just assessing whether or not I'm going to need a ball cap because... It's 116 degrees. Are y'all not listening? I don't want nothing additional other than this piece of hair on my head. I am debating on shaving my hair off after we come back from Atlanta. You understand me? Why? Because this heat is uncanny. It is unhinged. It is unnecessary. It is uncouth. It is unbecoming of a lady. Okay? So, with that being said, baby, this is the way to go for me. All right, so now I'm getting kind of used to the black edges, the black baby hairs. I said, okay, okay, I get it because unless all your, it's a P99J. It's a P99J, okay? So now that y'all know all about this beautifully handcrafted laced wig from our friends over at Fancy VV, let's get into our story. Now, baby, y'all recall when I told y'all I had to kiss a bunch of frogs, child, in order to find Prince Charming. Well, let me take you back to one of them stories, child. This was the time where I learned, baby, leave that man's phone alone, child. This is what we're going to title this story time, baby. Leave that man's phone alone. So one day, child, I decided that I was going to play secret agent man. And he gave me a number and hit me like a linebacker, baby. So let me go ahead on and get into the story, child. So we're going to name this one lady Candy. Now, Candy at the time when I was about 
Mm, 17, 18, 19, child. Miss Candy uh, used to live with my ex's sisters, okay? No, this ain't Mike, baby. We probably wouldn't have made it here had this been the situation, all right? Let me continue. So, baby, Miss Candy was in her 40s. Now, this ex, we're going to call him Brother Bone. Now, Brother Bone's sister damn near used to run a home and shelter, baby. You know that one person that everybody in the goddamn hood can just go there and stay at her house? That's what the fuck she had, a shelter in place, okay? I had ended up going out of town, thugging with my rounds my pink my whole brown okay when i ended up going out of town this was the reason and the callus for this whole situation okay now some of y'all know if y'all done been through it before you already know how your partner get when they doing something they ain't got no business when they getting a little sneaky when they get a little weird like why you being weird to me now normally me and brother bone used to be able to leave our phone sitting down face up no matter what wherever we was at child because see this was before all them lock screens and stuff came about okay metro pcs had actually just hit the scene with they gangster link ooh ooh I'ma tell you right now with a pause for the cause baby in that phone there's heartache and pain if for any reason you feel like you gonna have to go through that man phone if you feel like you got to go through that woman phone you already know what you're looking for is in there because you're looking for it amen why because the mannerisms done change huh the way they act and interact with you done got a little different am i right so with all these changes that are coming about baby it brings along suspicions in your mind and us as women baby we already think of a whole storyline in our head before we even find out the truth Okay, so finding out the truth don't do nothing but make it worse because it validate the story that I had done already said to myself in my mind. Replayed the scenario over and over again with three different angles of which way that it could go. I even got characters. Okay, this is how it goes for the female anatomy. Anyway, back into the story. So, baby, we was down to my mama house. Brother Bone left his phone in my bedroom and he went out back to smoke him a cigarette in the backyard. Baby brother Bone's phone rung one time and I ain't never seen a man with telekinesis as such where he can hear the phone through the house. Okay. In my mama house, baby, my bedroom was all the way to the bike of the house. And I said the bike of the house because yes, he was in the bike yard. So that part of the house is considered the bike from where he was at if that's considered the front or vice versa. However you want to put it in your mind to understand. So with that being said, baby, when that phone hit that ringtone one good time, in it, in it. And it stopped. Before I could even look over at the phone, Brother Bone was coming through the door at full speed, baby. But when it stopped, he turned around and he walked back outside. Red flag number one. Because why are you turning around going back outside? Who heard their phone ring from all the way outside and you're not going to come up in here and check and see what's going on with that phone? I said, okay. And the reason I said, okay, why? Why? Why you think? Say it right quick. You took too long. Baby, because that ain't the first time that phone done rung and hung up. I don't know how many of y'all done saw American Dream, the Michael Jackson story. But baby, if you don't remember when Katie answered that phone. Liar. You're a liar. And you a cheat. And I don't want you. No, I don't want you. I don't want you. I don't want you. I don't want you. I don't want you no more. Trust me, Katie. Baby, I ain't never understood nor felt a part of that movie so much until that day. Why? Because like I said again, this had been a continuous occurrence, baby. That phone would ring one time and somebody would hang up and he would not check the phone immediately and they would not call back. Okay? So eventually he would make his way to the phone. Sometime it'd be between five or ten minutes when he got to take him a walk somewhere. Or when it's time for another cigarette, he'll mysteriously come grab the phone. Follow me, camera. Now it must have been an emergency this day, baby. Why? Because she was not willing to wait on the call back. She called the phone again. This time, she let the phone ring twice. Again, like like clockwork brother boom shoots through the door first of all when he come through the back door he got to come around the couch you understand me to cut through the living room he got to go around the dining room table to cut through the dining room he got to come to the hallway to get to my room then you got to turn to come in my room and then you got to turn again in order to get to the nightstand by my bed where that phone is sitting so when it happened the second time i just knew oh, okay yeah this time now nah, for sure he gonna come up in here and he gonna grab that phone and see who it is calling like that and hanging up because this is the second time that you don't had to race up in here as such okay so with that being said baby he runs in the room the phone stops ringing he turns back around and he goes back so by this time i get the phone off of the nightstand because i want to move it closer because i'm gonna see just how fast this time you gonna come up in here because i'm about to call this number back this time baby i'm standing now in the doorway of my own room, that phone rung again. 
This time, when I tell you before the first ring stopped to get to the second note, Brother Bone was coming through that door, and baby, I didn't see or hear him coming through the door because at this point, I am now going to grab the phone. When I grabbed the phone, not only was it Candy's number saved with Candy's name, but baby, there was a picture. Follow me, camera. There was a picture of Candy, glory be to God. And let me explain to you what Candy had on in this picture. Miss Candy had on a negligee. Now, mind you, yet again, the phone had been sitting on the nightstand right next to my bed the entire time, but what I did not pay attention to was the fact that the phone was face down because Ain't no need for you to face the phone down if the phone in here with me. You understand? But see, back then, I wasn't even the type to even do none of that. But my intuition, my frontal lobe was developing, telling me my spidey senses is tingling. Something ain't right. My body's telling me you're creeping. Okay? It's what I'm trying to say to you right now. That's what I'm saying. Baby, when I tell you, I don't know if you ever seen a train hit a squirrel. My God, today. When I went and picked up the phone and as I got ready to hit the button to answer, baby, all I felt was every iota of wind being knocked out the side of me. To the point where the phone went one way and I went the other. My liver flew to the back, my esophagus to the front. My heart hit the flow, baby, because I already know. Huh? I already know. The fact that you done came in here and linebacker tackled me to get this phone, baby. So I stood there, called that number back. Oh, I'm not calling no number back. Y'all already know. They got to get an attitude when you got an attitude because they already know what you got. An attitude is real valid. Somebody in here about to shout. They get an attitude because you got an attitude because they know that your attitude is valid. Hey, man, holla if you hear me. So because my attitude was very much so valid and he know that the jig was up. Baby, the fact that I kicked my leg up when I said that. So let me do it again. Because you may be able to hear my knee pop, baby. The jig was up. Okay? He knew that. So I may as well make it a grand finale. So when I went to snatch the phone, because I said, call it again. Call the number back. You know what he didn't do? He did not pick up that phone to dial that number. So what I did was I knocked the phone from his hand and I get to going through the pictures. And baby, I found just what I was looking for. But not only did I find it, I found it with him standing there in the flesh, in my view, in my visual, in my presence, in my space, in my atmosphere. And baby, when I tell you, he had pictures of this woman's gums in this phone. You want to find out how weird the person is that you like? next to see some of the shit that they don't want you to see look at some of the stuff that they don't want you to see that they into lady was velveteen rubbing this young man that i thought was mine to death baby and i can't compare what well, i can't compete because i still got all my teeth nigga you got to get out i'm not even gonna argue with you babe you gonna have to get out and baby that's just what happened <laughs>